Okay, so this is a video on comparing the Rely On blood pressure cuff monitor and the Omron, if I'm saying that right. A blood pressure cuff monitor, this is the one with IntelliSense. And before we get started, um, just to show the model numbers here in case anyone's interested, this one, I could hold it here. This is the model B as in boy, P as in Paul, 652. And that's the Omron. The Rely On one, which actually says Omron, which is kind of weird. I never knew that. Um, I'll have to look into that. And I'll, when I do, I'll put it in the description below because that is kind of weird. So anyways, um, this one is model 6021, R as in Robert, E as in Edward, L as in Larry, N as in Nancy. So I'm assuming that Omron makes rely on. Um, so let me tell you, I have high blood pressure. I'm a single mom to a wonderful little girl here who's assisting me in this video. And um, having an accurate monitor is very important. And it seemed as though this one really wasn't being that accurate so I got this one the reason I got this one is um it's the number one blood pressure cuff monitor when I purchased it on Amazon love Amazon and a couple of my doctor's offices use this exact wrist cuff monitor so I figured if they're using this exact one it can't be too bad right um, again this is the one with the IntelliSense um, they both go on the same way I put it on my left arm hold my arm to my shoulder above my chest and that's how it works. So I just wanted to compare the readings here. We'll start with the Rely On one. I purchased this at Walmart. Oh, and real quick, that one there comes with a case, but let me show you. The case isn't really, I don't really use it because it's not that big. If you put this in the case, thank you for turning it on. If you put it in the case here, I mean, the case is really, really snug. So as you can see, it literally is right against the plastic. And I kind of just was worried that it was gonna scratch the screen, so I don't really use the case. I don't know why they just didn't make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I guess we're gonna, oh, okay, we're gonna, a uh, tip, don't let your toddler play with them and throw them. Okay, so I'm doing this one-handed, real life, unprofessional videos here so I'm gonna put the camera down for just a second so I can put this on my left wrist accurately okay so there we go it's on I'm just like it's supposed to be and you put it over your your hand on your shoulder and you put it overneath your over your heart and then you just hit start so I just hit start and let's see Okay, so this is not a good reading because if you look in the bottom right, there's an X. So I'm going to do it again. Okay, so that is a good reading. You see it says okay. So we got 129 over 74, pulse 81. Um, which for me is really good, actually. Okay, so let's do this one. Here you go. Cutest girl ever. <laughs> All right. Let's shut this one off. 
I'm going to put the camera down again for just a second so I can put it on accurately. You don't really put it tight. You just put it on um, just enough to hold your arm. And we hit start. So this one is 122 over 76, pulse 85. Now what did this one say? I have a feeling that's not what it was because my little one was messing with it. But anyways, as you can see, they are pretty close. They're not exact accurate, but of course your blood pressure goes up and down in seconds. So, eh. anyways, I just feel a little more comfortable with this one, even if this one is made by the same company. It just seems like it's a little bit, um, I'm not saying that it's bad, it's just not, in my opinion, as good of a quality. Um, yeah. And then as you can tell, this one is a lot louder. This one is not as loud. This one just seems a little bit nicer. It had that pretty blue light. And there's just a little bit more features in this one. Um, of course, this one was a little bit more expensive, but not by too much. So, again, that's the Rely On Blood Pressure Cuff Monitor and the Auron IntelliSense Blood Pressure Cuff Monitor. Thanks for watching.